Caddis Maximus here, this time reviewing the X4 Corp TD1000 4 to 1 torque multiplier. Hand tool torque multiplier, I should say. It has a 3 quarter inch drive input with a 1 inch drive output. It's rated at a maximum output torque of 2,000 foot pounds. Uh, that's before, uh, that's a working torque. So uh, beyond that, you know, you start risking cracking the head or having a sudden failure, which can be real dangerous when you have that kind of force built up. Uh, these do have a 15% calculation for losses, or you'd use a 3.4 multiplication factor. And that means to achieve the 2,000 foot-pounds of output, you would need to put 600 foot-pounds of force on the input. You definitely don't want to use impact wrenches because that can shatter the gears on these. Um, and putting 600 foot-pounds of force on the input of this would be uh, really, really difficult. I just reviewed this huge Tecton three-quarter inch drive, three-foot-long breaker bar. There are four-foot-long ones at places like Farm and Fleet, one of my uh, viewers uh, commented on. And then I looked online, and there are some even longer breaker bars than that, uh, especially an inch drive. There's like five-foot and six-foot. It's just ridiculous. So one of the nice things about a torque multiplier is you don't have to use a breaker bar um, that is just completely ridiculously long just to get the kind of leverage that you need. The other issue with breaker bars that get ridiculously long is they need huge amounts of area to swing in. And so that's really where to torque multipliers come into their own. That being said, back to the 600 foot-pounds of input, uh, that's a huge amount of force. And it would take two full-grown people uh, at least on a three-foot breaker bar to really get this to achieve that kind of output. Um, it's really surprising. Uh, as soon as you start getting into several hundred foot-pounds of torque, uh, how, how much force that really is, even when you have a big lever. Now, these, this has a removable handle. You can get the handles of different lengths, or if you're able to get one-inch diameter um, uh, tool steel that's been heat-treated, you can use that as intermediate different length handles. You can use pipe extensions, but they need to be a tool steel heavy wall. They need to be intended for that purpose, like an uh, interchangeable head uh, wrench handle, like I showed in my big wrench review which gives it versatility either because since it's a gearbox when you're turning the input the casing moves in the opposite direction and with twice as much force as the input the outputs four times but this would be twice as much and uh, that gets real dangerous you can really never brace it against your body except for i mean it, there would almost never be an exception because if you're using a torque multiplier it's already a huge fastener that's already stubborn and uh, so these need to be braced against something very solid. You, one nice thing about removing the handles, you can have, just have a stub, various length handles, so it's pretty easy to find a place for it to be able to um, brace against. And then you don't quite need a six foot long breaker bar. You can use a couple people on a three foot long breaker bar um, and be able to break some very large fasteners. What's surprising is when fasteners get real large, like this fastener here, this has a 2 and 3 16 head, uh, the scaling of the amount of force that you need to work with these is real surprising. Uh, even though I have you know sockets and a big 3 quarter inch breaker bar, bolts like this, uh, if they're really torqued, uh, are real difficult to work with without a multiplier. It's really surprising. And of course, large nuts too, like this 3 and an eighth inch nylock. Uh, this thing takes like 50 foot-pounds of torque, 50 to, I don't know if it's 100, but it's an amazing amount of torque just to get this nut to turn on a fastener with this heavy-duty stack of uh, nylon lock washers. This isn't the biggest model that they make. They make ones all the way up to two and a half inch square drive and six tons or 12,000 foot-pounds of output. This, I did mention, was two, one ton, 2,000 foot-pounds of 2,700 newton meters. A couple things I'll mention about this the overall quality is it's pretty nice, except for they use a sticker for the label. Uh, it's an expensive hand tool. These run like $400 on Amazon and uh, way more off a tool truck. And for a tool that's that darn expensive, it's going to be all, it's all forged tool steel. Uh, why you would use a sticker to label such a tool is beyond me. There's no stamping. I mean, not even a hand stamp that says X4 Corp. Uh, so once you lose the sticker, really, it's just a totally no-name, unknown tool, and you just have to be able to recognize 
that it was an X4 design when you were looking up torque multipliers. It does use heavy four gears and you can rebuild this, which is a nice aspect of it. A not nice aspect of it is even though it's three quarter inch drive, which I like, they made that uh, receptacle, that sock, that wrench uh, square, whatever it is, uh, not deep enough. And so all the tools, like we'll just show with an extension, kind of stand up a little bit and they're a little bit wobbly and that's uh, one frustrating aspect is the the tools are a bit wobbly uh, on the input side of this and one of the reasons is just too shallow I mean just made it a little bit taller and would have held the tools much more securely another thing to mention about the 15 percent losses or the 3.4 ratio um, it's easy to calculate if you want 350 foot pounds out you would do or 340 out you need to do a hundred foot pounds in uh, it also means to achieve the 2,000 foot pounds of output torque you would need uh, 600 on the input which is once again is just crazy so even though you have a multiplier you still may be putting a whole lot of force into it it just makes uh, it's particularly with in large fasteners, inch drive sockets, a lot of times just the breaker bars and stuff just aren't enough. You really need one of these to effectively use large sockets. Um, we have a big Sunex uh, three and a half inch drive socket here. That is a massive socket. Uh, I mean, my entire hand will fit inside that socket. The biggest I've seen in Ford sockets for inch drive are four and a half inches. Uh, I've actually seen those stocked, and about 20 minutes out of town, there's a place that has them. It's just absolutely massive. It's getting a little large for inch drive. But I'll show you about the reaction here. Is when you turn this, I'm going to turn it clockwise, the handle now moves counterclockwise. That's where the counteraction is happening from. And so you have to be real careful about that. A common mistake is to hook up a torque multiplier and not have it properly braced and have it swing around when you're putting a lot of torque and have it hit against some part of your body. Um, and it will be pushing really hard and you can really injure yourself. Another issue with torque multipliers is that if you're using a breaker bar and you can't break the fastener and you have to release the tension, um, it is a gearbox and you need to release it nice and easy. If you just let go of the wrench, it can snap back with just an absolutely massive amount of force and speed. Uh, and so that's another danger with them is because you have to always appreciate the amount of tension that you're building up to one of these gearboxes on a fastener. Of course, once you've got the fastener broken, um, you can you use just a regular three quarter inch drive ratchet and drop it in there and this this is a nice ratchet dual ball dentons but you can see this it still wobbles around even the ratchet itself and then you just ratchet out the fastener like well we'll hold it and so as soon as you get a little bit of tension off the fastener you can see how little that socket is turning as I'm ratcheting this so as soon as you've got tension off of it obviously you would remove this and you would remove the multiplier which has a really strong ball dentent <clears throat> and then just use a normal ratchet against the socket itself to ratchet out at a normal pace anyway I just want to do a quick review of this X4 torque multiplier um, there just isn't many reviews of torque multipliers on YouTube in general and not and hardly any just a few uh, about actual hand tool torque multipliers versus uh, ones that are designed to be used for semi-truck lug nuts. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Catus Maximus out.